Now we're on page nine of your workbook, and I want to talk about um, the leads in a 12-lead ECG. So um, Dale Dubin, who's the author of Rapid EKG Interpretation, probably described it best by, you know, when he said that when you're monitoring lead two, a single lead is like taking a photograph uh, or a single photograph of a car. So let's say you were trying to sell your car. Uh, one lead, like lead two, for example, for monitoring would be like having a single photograph of your car. A 12 lead ECD is like having 12 photographs of your car from more or less 12 slightly different angles. And um, so we're looking at the heart from 12 different perspectives and that enables us, uh, enables us rather to see specific uh, coronary vessels and uh, whether there's a problem with those coronary vessels when we're looking specifically at ischemia or infarction, which is the focus of this presentation. So um, when we look at the 12 lead ECD, typically it's, it's in this configuration. There's lead one, a lead two below it, lead three below that. And then over here is AVR, AVL, and AVF. Then V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. This is the standard 12 lead configuration. And um, one of the other things that's important here is that when this ECG occurs, it occurs at exactly the same time as this one, and it occurs exactly at the same time as this one. So the timing of these is identical, just as the timing of uh, these three beats is identical as is the timing of these three beats, um, et cetera. Now, um, whether the uh, QRS complex is deflected upwards or downwards, as is the case in V1 here, depends uh, on one of two things, either where the electrode is located, so here's a positive electrode in relation to the myocardium, we'll say this is the myocardium here, uh, or whether there's some kind of pathology that exists, such as an old uh, infarction or some other sort of uh, pathology. But um, in a normal healthy heart, it's determined by lead placement. So um, when the heart depolarizes, and I'll show this on uh, one of the next slides here, when the heart depolarizes in this direction, if the positive electrode is here and the wave of depolarization is moving toward it, then we get a positively deflected QRS. We see this in lead one, two, and three. Um, ABR, on the other hand, is um, a lead that's taken from uh, the right arm and uh, the right arm is over here, oopsie, over here, that's a little better, and uh, so the wave of depolarization would be moving uh, away from this lead here, and consequently we get a negatively deflected uh, QRS complex. Now the other thing I should mention is um, uh, these, these leads here, one, two, and three are bipolar leads, and the same electrodes are used for AVR, AVL, and VF, except that AVR, AVL, and AVF are unipolar leads, and um, the A stands for augmented, and that's because if you have the electrode on the right arm and it's looking at the heart from the distance of the right arm, then the ECG complexes would be very, very tiny. So the machine augments the vector or the size of the complex internally, and that's why it's called augmented vector right and augmented vector left and augmented vector foot, which would be a reference to the electrode placed on the left foot. V1 through V6 are the precordial leads, and um, let me just find my bearings here. Um, oh, there we are. Um, and so these are also unipolar leads, but they're right on the chest, and so they're close enough to the myocardium that they pick up the electrical signal fairly easily, and you can well imagine that, um, you know, V1 has an electrode that's uh, above the ventricles, and so the wave of depolarization is moving away from the ventricles, consequently we get this negative deflection, whereas V6, the electrode is um, uh, in the path of the wave of depolarization, so the QRS complex is upright. Now, lastly, every ECG has a standard on it, and this is... Um, a line that goes up, goes across, and comes down, and that should be equal to one centimeter or one millivolt. And if it's not exactly one centimeter in height, then your 12 lead ECG machine is not properly calibrated. But I think what you'll find is that most uh, monitors today are uh, sufficiently well maintained that they're almost always calibrated. But that's called the standard, and we always look for that to verify that the machine is properly calibrated. 